Way before satellite photography and Google Earth, these intricate models give an amazing bird's eye view of French cities and forts from the 17th century. The collection of mock-ups is normally based at the Museum of Scale Models aux Invalides in Paris and are now on show at the nearby Grand Palais. These objects were part of the program, like scale models for a promoter or architect who wants to study their projects. So these models were for that. They were made quite quickly from the end of the 17th century. And as it was a royal collection for the strategic needs of royal power, they became more and more detailed and really became works of art. The models of fortified cities and towns began under Louis XIV's reign. They were invaluable tools for the king and his generals. The mock-ups permitted them to examine building works that were taking place often several hundreds of miles away, and the eventual fortifications themselves. Some members of the aristocracy on tour would come and visit the gallery of scale models, and that would allow the display of the richness of the towns and the fortifications which defended the borders. Interactive features and multimedia tools allow visitors to explore the models in incredible detail. It really lets you see all the architectural details of a town, be it the fortifications, civilian buildings, or religious ones. You can't see them so clearly without these photos. In the era of Google Earth, this is practically France in 3D three centuries earlier. It's extraordinary. Imagine that these models were the first aerial views in history. One of the roles we'd like the Maison d'Histoire de France to play is to use these historical objects for contemporary reflection, to pose questions about space, territory, about France and what it is to be French. Set around a huge map of France are 16 scale models from the 17th to the 19th centuries. Some of the towns on show, like Burg, Obzum or Exil, were French at the time, but are now Dutch and Italian. Others, like Saint-Omer and Besançon, later became French. The exhibition runs until the 17th of February.